This is the world where your ancestors had to survive every single day for millions of years. So how? How did they not go extinct? Let me tell you about one individual. The fossils don't give us her name, so let's call her Asher. It means life. She's 28 years old, incredibly old for her species. She has three children, and she's been living in hell her entire life. See these scars? That's from a crocodile that nearly got her when she was 19. She lost her mother to an eagle when she was 12, saw it happen right in front of her. Her first child was killed at a waterhole. She knows the rules. Stay low, stay hidden, stay alive. It's evening. Asher and her family are sleeping in an acacia tree. It's not comfortable. Branches dig into your back, you can't stretch out. But it beats being on the ground. Below, you can hear things moving, hunting, killing. You grip your infant closer and try to sleep. Dawn, 5.47 a.m. Someone has to go down first. Check for predators. Listen. Watch for movement. Only then does the family descend. Asha always goes first. She's the most experienced. If something's waiting below, better her than the children. But this morning is different. Drought pushed them into new territory. The grass here is six feet tall. On all fours, Asha can see maybe eight feet ahead. That's not enough, not nearly enough. 